Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Melania breaks silence after candidate likens her to a prostitute and it's pure Trump. An Oregon congressional candidate by the name of Mark Roberts thought it would be a good idea to insult the first lady Melania Trump on Twitter earlier this week, by none the less than implying she works as a prostitute. This all began when Charlie Kirk decided to draw a comparison on Twitter as to how First Lady Melania Trump only has five staffers when former First Lady Michelle Obama had 44. What was she even doing with 44 staffers? Anyways, Roberts later responded by asking Kirk if he knew the First Lady works by the hour? And to make matters even worse he placed hashtags on the words, Think Dirty and Hobag. The most interesting part of this whole sick saga is the fact that if you look on this guy's website you learn that he, in fact, calls himself an independent, with moderate conservative positions. What in the world does that even mean? He sure doesn't act like a conservative. He looks more like a plant to try to make conservatives look bad. When the Daily Caller News Foundation, which isn't related to the Daily Caller website, reached out to Robert's congressional campaign for a statement on his comments they later received an email from what appears to be Roberts himself. Where he says, Sorry Nick never heard of the Daily Caller. I think I'm too big for you but feel free to send me a link to some of your work." The DCNF then asked Roberts why he chose the phrases Think Dirty and Hobag to describe First Lady Melania Trump and whether or not he thinks it's appropriate to describe the First Lady in that fashion he answered, I think the answers to your questions are self-explanatory. Have a god, sick, day and keep the donations coming. But now we are seeing reports from the Daily Caller that the First Lady Melania Trump has responded. Melania Trump called Oregon congressional candidate Mark Roberts' comments likening her to a prostitute disturbing and despicable. This is just more hypocritical intolerance from those who oppose her husband's administration. To say such ugly words about a mother, wife and our first lady is not just a pathetic attempt at getting himself in the news, it is disturbing and despicable, the first lady's spokesperson Stephanie Grisham said in a statement to CNN. Wow, even CNN came to her defense. I wonder if they would have if the candidate would have been a Democrat. After seeing this candidate's responses maybe what this man really needs is some serious mental evaluation. There is something wrong when an adult, especially one who is running for public office acts this way. Let's hope and pray he gets the help he needs before he hurts someone, or himself. Here is more on our wonderful First Lady via the White House. Melania Trump was born on April 26, 1970 in Slovenia. At age 16, she began what would soon become a highly successful modeling career appearing in many high-profile ad campaigns and working with some of the best photographers in the fashion industry. In 1996, Mrs. Trump moved to New York and ten years later, she proudly became a United States citizen. Mrs. Trump has always been an active member of her community. In 2005, she was honorary chairwoman for the Martha Graham Dance Company. That same year, she was awarded Goodwill Ambassador by the American Red Cross, a role she served in for four years. Mrs. Trump served five years as honorary chairwoman for the Boys Club of New York and was named Woman of the Year in 2006 by the Police Athletic League. Mrs. Trump has participated in National Love Our Children Day and National Child Abuse Prevention Month, ringing the closing bell at NASDAQ. In 2010, Mrs. Trump was the chairwoman for the American Heart Association, which raised $1.7 million for research. That same year she launched her own jewelry collection. While Melania Trump became a household name in modeling and a contributing member of her community, she is first and foremost a mother and wife, and in 2017, Melania Trump made the White House and Washington home for her family. In her role as First Lady, Mrs. Trump focuses her time on the many issues affecting children. An unwavering characteristic of the First Lady is her aptitude for showing love and compassion in all that she does. Mrs. Trump spends much of her time meeting with children who are patients at hospitals and care centers. Recently, she took Valentine's to the Children's and at the National Institutes of Health in Cincinnati Children's Hospital. Over the Easter holiday, she made a surprise visit to St. Mary's Medical Center in Palm Beach, Florida, bringing Easter baskets to the children. Following the devastating hurricanes last year, Mrs. Trump visited Texas to meet with families that suffered greatly under Hurricane Harvey. In the wake of two horrendous mass shootings, Mrs. Trump traveled with her husband to Las Vegas and Parkland to be with the victims and families in their times of need. Internationally, Mrs. Trump has visited several hospitals and schools. One of her most memorable visits being at the pediatric hospital Bambino Gesù in the Vatican City, where she met a boy who had been waiting for a new heart. Upon arrival in Belgium the following day, 
Mrs. Trump learned that the hospital had found a transplant for the boy Mrs. Trump celebrated the news in a press statement and said my own heart is filled with joy over the news. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.